I was 23 when I got pregnant. Very early on, I was actually starting to get really short of breath. Once it really started progressing and I started getting more concerned, I started pushing for more testing. And so my doctor, you know, ended up referring me over to cardiology and we ended up doing an EKG and doing an echo. Within the month, I was getting really, really bad. I couldn't walk from here to the couch without just feeling exhausted and dizzy and feeling like I would pass out. I definitely was like, okay, this is not, this is not normal pregnancy stuff. I'm not okay. Got the call from the cardiologist who I had been referred to, and he basically said, hey, you are really, really sick. You've got heart failure, you've got advanced heart failure. I'm referring you to the transplant team and you're gonna see them. And within about 30 minutes from talking with him, the director at the time ended up calling me. I'm worried about how bad your results are. You're very, very sick. I don't know if you're gonna live. More than likely you are gonna need a transplant if you are able to make it through this. But there are some very specific things that we have to do and you have to listen to me if you want to survive. So, I mean, it was very clear very quickly how bad it was. The focus right now is doing what we can to stabilize you before we deliver your son and ensure a safe delivery for both of us. Make sure Brady's okay. You know, it was making sure he was all right, making sure that we made it through it and that was that was all i was thinking about it's really intimidating as a patient to see so many different physicians from different specialties come in to take care of you. So for me, it was anesthesiology and cardiology and heart transplant and cardiac intensive care and OB-GYN and maternal fetal medicine specialists. I mean, it, and, and neonatology, right, for my son. While it's a lot, it's excellent because they all have a different perspective and each sees something that the other one does not and they can come up with the best plan for you. And I mean, that's why I'm here. That's why a lot of people are here is because of that effort. It's the kids laugh at me a lot. My husband laughs at me a lot too because I get very emotional at maybe what's seemingly not big moments, but to me, they're big moments. I didn't think I was gonna watch him go into middle school, and then I didn't think I was gonna watch him go into high school, and I didn't think I'd see him have his first girlfriend or drive a car, and all those things have been happening. And he's a great young man. I've been with the heart failure and transplant team for, you know, it's going on 15 years. I would absolutely never um, go anywhere else and I, and I don't it's because they are the best at what they do It's because they really care about what they do too um, there are a lot of physicians that care but this is my team <laughs>